हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू द चैनल आर यू गाइस रेडी टू फॉल इन लव विद टैब्लू इन नेक्स्ट 20 25 मिनट्स आई एम गोइंग टू टेल एवरीथिंग अबाउट टैब्लू यू नीड टू नो टू स्टार्ट योर जर्नी एज अ टैब्लू डेवलपर आई विल बी फॉलोइंग अलोंग विद सिक्वल सो आई विल बी डूइंग सम ऑपरेशंस इन टैब्लू एंड विल बी टेलिंग यू हाउ इट इज डन इन सिक्वल सो दैट यू कैन रिलेट इट इजीली इवन इफ यू डोंट नो सिक्वल यू विल लर्न सिक्वल अलोंग द वे सो फॉलो मी फॉर नेक्स्ट 20 25 मिनट्स and i'm sure this will be the best 20 25 minutes of your tableau journey okay so let's start so to start with tableau we will first download the tableau so this is the link to download public version it is free okay you can just go to this link i will put this link in the description box download the app and it is one click installation once you click uh, install it open it you will see this window so this is the first open window of the tableau here you will see connect so you have to choose data source with which you want to connect the data right so there are bunch of option microsoft excel text file you can connect to any database to server redshift sql server anywhere you can connect what i am going to do i will connect with excel moreover the public version that you will get okay will have only option to connect to files no option to connect to server so this is a licensed version but that is okay you don't need license version to learn tableau you can just install public version and connect to microsoft excel i will connect connect to microsoft excel and will play with superstore data set okay so when one, once i click okay it will load the data into tableau right and the same data i have loaded into my database as well right so this is a superstore orders and this data i have loaded in in the sql and as well as in tableau now right so once i import the data it has multiple tabs so it will ask me to choose the tab i will just choose the orders tab okay so orders tab is similar to what i have imported in sql okay so you can see the data now right so there are two options you will see here connection live and extract right live is it is reading directly from excel so if i make a change in excel you will immediately see in your tableau as well right but this is sometimes slow because if data is large every time it all the time it will be reading the data live data right so we will use extract in extract what it will do it will store the data in tableau memory and then operations will be fast before that i am going to save this as so save as so now when i am saving this tableau workbook there are two options right one is twb and twbx so i will choose twbx in twbx we will have data also stored so i'll just give it a name tableau uh, crash course okay i'm just saving this so now this twbx if file you share with someone it will have data also with it and i will choose extract option and it will extract the data so once we have all the data we have chosen extract option i will go to sheet 1 now in the sheet you can create your you can create your views right so this is the layout of tableau you will see all the columns here in the left hand side right now one thing to notice notice is these columns are divided into two parts first you are seeing dimensions these are all dimensions and here after this line you are saying measures right so what are dimension measures any attribute like order date product id customer name customer id these are all dimensions right these are all attributes and all the profit sales all the transaction values right these will be measures discount profit quantity sales so this is very important so tableau will try to itself distinguish between dimension and measures and will do it but sometimes tableau might make a mistake like maybe some integer column is there it might it might think like uh, customer id is a measure right but you you can convert it to dimension always you can right click and say convert to dimension but in our case it is all fine these are all dimensions okay and these are all measures okay so let's start so this is if you see here these options drop field here drop field here and we have column rows as well so what i am going to do i am going to take uh, a category right so this is my category okay C 
category so what you can do you can drop here you can drop here so these are rows right columns similarly you can drop here or here it is same thing so if i drop here it will show me all the categories right so there are three categories in my data okay now i want to see sales of all the categories so i will say sales and drop here i can drop here or i can drop in columns as well so the moment i put in columns it will create a bar chart right so in bar chart rows are there are three rows for categories and these are values right i can just switch also if i went category as, as columns and sales as rows there is this option you see swap rows and columns so i can just swap it now it looks better right so we have furniture we have office supplies and we have technology so we are, see how easily we created the chart here so beautiful chart right now this is what what is this happening basically so in sql word if we see we are doing grouping my own category and doing sum of sales right let me do it quickly so i'll say category comma sum of sales group by category if i run this now so we have three rows furniture is around 741000 if i see here furniture is 742000 it is just rounding off tableau we can we can remove this rounding off but i'm not going to discuss that but i'm just trying to tell you it is as simple as doing a group by on category and getting sum of sales right so basically whatever dimension you put right it creates a more dimension so if i put category and sub category as well so we have sub category right i am putting sub category as well so we can just drag and drop simply right so you are seeing category and within each category you are seeing sub categories right also it is showing here if you go down it is showing 17 marks it means there are 17 data points so four data points within furniture you have four sub categories right similarly if you see there are 17 bars it means there are 17 marks now if i do same thing in tableau uh, sorry in sql sub category so i need to take both of these as in group by how many rows will be there there will be 17 rows see 17 rows so number of rows is equal to number of marks right here 17 marks it means it is telling there are 17 data points okay i hope this makes sense okay so let's see what else we can do so first of all it is by default creating bar chart as per the data you choose the dimension and measure you to choose it will automatically select a chart but you can always click here show me and you can choose some other chart right so there are bunch of options you can choose uh, this chart or you can choose this is pie chart right or there are bunch of options you can choose heat map right i am not going to discuss individually all the chart we will discuss in future videos but i am just trying to tell you you can choose any other bar if you want right also you can do control z just like in a, any uh, microsoft tool you can do control z right here also you can do control z it will go back just control z i did i again did control z and we are back to bar chart okay so this is how this works i am going to remove this sub category and show you some more things right now we will talk about this marks section this is very important section so there are five five option here color size label detail tool tip okay so let's talk about tool tip and label and then we will move on to size color and detail so what is label so label is if you want to show what is the exact value on top of it so for example i want to see sum of sales so now if i'm looking looking at chart i don't know what is the exact value right so i can just say sales drag it to label so it is coming here now right on top of it you are seeing and you can put more things so you can just click on label okay so currently it is saying sum of sales you can put anything you can put 
sales is and then you, you can insert a column here we have option to insert columns right so okay so you are seeing sales is this so you can do anything here right i'll just remove sales is and we are seeing sum of sales and you can add more columns so you will see multiple columns here that is fine now tool tip is when you drag when you go on top of this bar right you take mouse you are seeing something you are seeing category and sales right so this is what tool tip is if i click on tool tip it is showing category and then insert the category column and sales sum of sales so whatever columns are there in your wish it will show category or sum of sales right so i can just what i can do if i want to remove it i can remove it or i can add it right so you can add anything here again so let's let me remove this category so you won't see category now you you will just see sales right so you can put as many fields as you can in the tool tip again because if you want to show more show more data here so you can show so for example you can show profit as well right so if i take profit insert and all fields if i do it will do all fields but i i want to show only some of profit so let me take profit okay so now if you see uh, there is some problem here but that's fine i mean you can put anything what you want right i'm not going to discuss it but i just wanted to tell you what is tool tip and what is label okay let's now move on to size color and detail right so what is size color and detail size color and detail is also adding a dimension to your view so for example i i can put sub category right as a dimension here right but i can put in color as well so if i take sub category again here right so if you see it it all the sub categories are with different colors now right so again we have 17 marks only right but within each category each sub category is a separated by different colors so you can see right i if i uh, go to tool tip and i want to insert category again sub category okay so you can see sub category now uh something is again wrong tool tip subcategory and let me insert category as well okay 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 so i am seeing furniture furni furniture furnishing because i have not put the i have not put the text so i will let me put text as well category category and sub category sub category right yeah so now you will see category furniture sub category tables so they are different colors so instead of creating different bars i have created multiple colors right so beautiful chart is coming up right so this is how you can put things in color you can put other things also so for for example let's see i want to put ship mode right so if i put ship mode in color so it is showing different ship modes and it is showing color as well so we can change color also if we want but you can see that category furniture and sub category is not there we have the mode but ship mode is there right so again if i go here i can put ship mode ship mode right and you can see ship mode right so whenever you are adding a dimension to color you are basically adding you are basically adding a column in group by nothing more than that right i will just do ship mode and run this if i go back to tableau there are 12 marks right so there are three categories and each category there are four ship modes so total 12 and if i go back to here there are 12 rows you see 12 rows so number of rows is equal to number of marks right so this is about color you can put multiple again multiple columns now what about size and details let's do that so what i'll do i'll just change this from color 
I can change from here also. I can drag and drop again. So I can change it to detail or size. Let me do it size. So what happens is now it will create different sizes because we have done sizes. So whatever category and ship mode has higher value, it will be more width and the lesser one will be less width. Sorry. So if you see it is for like 35,000. So size is more. So size will depend on the value of the measure for that combination. So for, for furniture and standard class, it is more. So size is more and accordingly size is less. So this is about size. So again, here also we have 12 marks. So if you are adding any dimension to again, color or size, you are adding a column in group by. It is similar to you ship mode you put here. It is just that the way of representation is different, right? If I put ship mode here, there will be multiple bars, but within same bar, I am just categorizing based on size or based on color. Similarly, detail. If I choose detail, in detail also, you will see there are no new bars and there is no new color or size. It is just logically it is separated. You see a, a small line. So there are different bars, but there is no specific color or size. It is just logically you see that there are separate bars. Again, number of marks will be 12. So all these three detail, color and size are similar. Whenever you add any column to these marks, you are adding that column to group by, right? So that you will have more data points but it is just that you it is just that it will always be adding as a dimension but for tooltip and label it is different for tooltip when you hover over the bar you will see what you are seeing you can add to tooltip and you want to add anything to label it will be shown on top of it right i hope this is clear this is very important concept so let me move on to the next thing we will move on to the filters right now, how we do filters in SQL, we put where clause. So where ship mode equal to, let's say second class. So this is how you do filters. Now same filter how I do. So in Tableau, we have this filter pane, right? So I can just drag. So let me do this. I'll just drag this. So here you see. All four values are coming. You can choose whatever you want. I will choose everything for now. Okay. Okay. So there's no change. Now what I can do, I can do show filter. So now you can change the values here. So if you want to see only three, you can see only three. You want to see only one, just unselect everything. And I want to see just first class and then on top of it, group by is happening. So this is basically what is happening. We have put filter ship mode and then we are doing group by. Similarly here, we are putting a filter and doing a category and sum of sales, group by on category, right? Now here again, there's a different ways of showing your filters. So this is all the values you are seeing. You, what you can do, you can choose this. I generally choose this, this looks good. So you can choose multiple values or you can choose one value, right? Or you can do all and you can just play with it, whatever you want to see, right? So this is how you can put filters and you can put multiple filters. You can have ship mode. You can have segment as well. So I will put segment and select all. Okay. So there are many options again in filters. I'm not going to discuss everything, but basing you should understand. So I will just go to segment show filter. So both the filters are shown now. I will again change it to drop down. So you can just do this. So this is now you are putting segment filter and ship mode. So this is like end condition, right? So Ship mode is this and segment equal to corporate, whatever you want to put, right? So this is how it works. So I hope this is clear. So now we will move on to the calculated field, right? So we talked about how these charts are getting created. It is always we are aggregating and we have a dimension. Also, if we don't have a dimension, right? Let me remove everything. I'm just removing everything. So you will see one value. So this is sum of sales, right? Sum of sales of full table. So it is just like saying, give me sum of sales because we are not doing any group by, right? We are just saying, give me sum of sales. That's it. Now, because in my view, there is no dimension. It will do sum of sales on full data. So this is, this is how you do full aggregation. Okay. Now let's talk about new field. 
now in in sql how do you create a new field right you just say select order id order date you want let's say sum of profit and sales right so you will say profit plus sales just for example i am telling as total something so now how do you do this in tableau you will go to analysis and say create calculated field so you can create new fields as well so you will say total right and just say sales plus profit so this is how you created a new column and it will be shown in the measure because it is a measure and if i just remove sum of sales and take profit total sorry it will give me sum of total and i can take other things also like if i want to see on category so category category wise sum of total the new field right so this is how you can create you can concatenate to string you can get you can use date functions anything there are a lot of functions in tableau similar to sql almost all the functions are there so you can use all the functions and create new fields okay now since we are talking about fields let me talk about date field specifically okay i'll remove just this category and this also let's talk about sales only so i'll take sales and i will now take order date so before i took string value category i'm going to take order date okay so when i take a date column right you see here it is a date column is symbol right so what it will do it will show you year of order date by default and also it will create a line chart so whenever there is a date field by default it will create a line chart because it it is a it is a time series right so it is it is always good to see in the line so that we can see what is the pattern sales are increasing or decreasing because we are seeing with time okay now this this is a hierarchy kind of thing so you have year if you click on plus it will come year and quarter right so for each year you are seeing each quarter what is the sales trend right we are seeing a trend then you can go down month you can further go down week right so let me just go back to year and also what we can do we can just choose what we want to see so let's say you are seeing year wise right but you want to see month wise like month and year so you can just say this option so it will show you chart in the trend of month so this is so basically this is showing that what is the month so what i am going to do i am going to go to tool tip again and i am not i don't need category i need month and sales right so let me put month i will add a month order date and then sales i will just put sum of sales right okay so you are seeing that january 2018 sales is this much right so month wise you are seeing now right so this is how you can create trend chart so this is the special condition in only case of date field you can choose whatever you want if you want to see quarter wise you can see quarter right again if you want to see if you want to see exact date you can put exact date you can put week number so anything you can work so this is the beauty of tableau just in a click of button you can do bunch of things right in sql if you have to do you have to find month and year right using month and year functions and then get the value right but in tableau it is like in one one click you are doing everything okay so this, i hope this is clear now after this there are some quick calculation in tableau also so for example i am showing sum of sales right now i want to see what is how it is how i am doing in the sales so you have quick table calculation you can say running total i want running total of the sales you can do that right or you can say percentage of total right or moving average anything you can do right so let me do running total so if i do running total it is it is a running total like using order by we do running total so in the month of uh, in quarter 1 we have 74000 sales then this is the sales of quarter 1 plus quarter 2 so this is you are seeing running sum that's why it is always increasing right and there are bunch of other options like this table calculations you can do again with calculated field but there are some things which are directly 
I mean readily present in Tableau. So you can say percentage of total. Okay, so it is saying that of the total sales, this month, this month, uh, quarter one is contributing 3.24%, right? So I, I have done on quarter, right? So that's how you can do a lot of things, right? Quick table calculations, right? You can clear quick table calculation. You can edit it, right? So it is very intuitive and very easy to learn. And you can, if you play with this sometime, you will learn it very easily, right? Now, this is what my chart's name, right? So by default, whatever is the sheet name, that will be the header of the chart. If I click here, it is this sheet name. So what I can do, I can just say uh, sales or anything, right? Sales by quarter. It will change sales by quarter. Okay. Now I want to show one more thing. I'll just add one more sheet. Just randomly I'm adding. So I will add... So you can create multiple views, right? I, I show you sales by quarter and I click on this and sheet two and I can just say, give me sales by ship mode, ship mode, right? Ship mode and let's say profit. Okay. So you created this chart. Now we have two charts. Profit by profit by ship mode. Okay. Now, what if I want to see, I want to see these two charts on a single page. So there's a dashboard option. You see, there's this sheet and dashboard. If you click on dashboard, it will show you all the sheets that you have created. You can just drag and drop, right? And make your dashboard, right? So again, there are a lot of options in dashboard. I'm not going to discuss everything, but yeah, this is how you can do it. Okay, and it is also showing filters, whatever we have put in the first sheet. And also if you click on filters, it will show values, right? You can click on it, whatever you want to do. If you see only this chart is changing, this chart is not changing because we have put filters here. Now, one thing is you can always go here and say apply to worksheet. Now you can select to which worksheets. If I select both the worksheet, right? Let me go select worksheet. I will select this also, right? So now if I put this filter, it will apply to the other chart as well. See, this is also changing. So as per the filter, the value of other, other view is also changing. So this is very good, right? You want to put a one filter and see all the values changing, right? What is the effect? So that is also can be done. And that this is a very important thing. Again, for this also, you can say apply to worksheets and which worksheet. You can say all using this data source. So we have one data source only. So we can just say yes. So again, if I do this, it will impact both the charts. See, both the charts are ch changing, right? So this is very nice. I'm sure you will be loving this, how easily you can create new charts, right? And very intuitive, right? If you know SQL, it becomes very easy to understand how these charts are getting created. And once you can connect SQL and Tableau, it becomes a cakewalk. Even if you are data engineer in any field, right? Learning Tableau will always be easy. And it is a good idea to add a skill set in your resume, right? With very less effort. I mean, if you spend some a week or something, you will learn it. Okay. Now, once this dashboard is created, you can publish it to the uh, Tableau public. So I, you, you go here, server. Okay. Publish workbook. Click here. And you can say, Server name public.tableau.com. I will say connect. When I say connect, it will just ask for username password. So what you can do, you can go to Tableau public. Uh, I'll go to Tableau public. Okay. And you can create, just put public.tableau.com and you can create your profile, right? And once your profile is created, you can sign in here. So I will sign in with my profile. And then I have to put password, right? The moment I put sign in and publish it, it will start showing here in my pub Tableau public profile, right? If I go to my profile, it will show whatever views I have created. I have created two visits. It will show here, right? And you can just click on this. Let's say this one. This is some old ones I have created. And then you can 
share it with anyone so you can click on share and you will get a link right you will get this link once you get this link you can put it on social media anywhere and you can share it with anyone right so this is very good very easy what you have to do now just download the data set i will give in the link the data set link and install tableau public create some charts play with it share with the people if you are going to create some charts please put your put a post on linkedin tag me i will love to see your curiosity what charts you can create you can play with this order superstore data set and yeah i i will love to see more people learning tableau i will put lot of use cases scenarios in future in tableau if i see good responses from you so please do that okay thanks for watching this share this video so that maximum people can learn tableau and start their journey in data analytics field thanks for watching so far have a good day bye bye